Hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson using www.sketchup.com. In today's demonstration lesson, I'll show you how to complete your playground assembly. The assignment's going to be called Playground Design Phase 2. Make sure you navigate to the SketchUp landing page you see here. And once you're here, move to the upper right corner where you see the person icon. Select it, and then select My Apps. Don't forget to log in with your Google account. My products, view applications, and launch SketchUp for Web or SketchUp for Web Premium. There's the blue logo. You're good to go. First thing you're going to need to open is the platform assembly. You'll see three little dots. Select those, and the pop up window shows open. So select and open. And there's my platform assembly. You may have shadows on and access off. So you can go to the right where you see the display tab. It looks like a little set of glasses. Select that and turn accesses back on and then turn shadows off. And then go to the tab just above that. It's called the scenes tab. It looks like a movie clipboard. Select it, select parallel projection and front view. And maybe use a pan tool to center your assembly. So. The first thing to do is import or insert the wall, climbing wall. So you're going to use these three lines in the upper left corner and import from Triple Connect and your SketchUp and your Playground folders. Go to your Playground folder and find that climbing wall assembly. Click and import as component. Now, in my case, I've been quite lucky. The assembly is facing away from me, so I'm going to place it, and then I'm going to look at it from back view using the house that's looking like a back view of a house. And at this point, I'm just going to use the Move tool to position roughly, and then try to fine tune it by zooming in a bit. And look at it from different views. I believe this it should be snap. There we go. So again, if, as you position these, verify that it's in the correct location. Okay. Use the three lines once again to import from Triple Connect your monkey bar assembly. Select it, select insert as component, and your monkey bar assembly should be positioned on the opposite side of your climbing wall. In my case, it looks like it's rotated 90 degrees, so I'm going to use the rotate tool to rotate 90 degrees, and then use the move tool to position it right up against the platform. And then once again, orbit, make sure that all surfaces are on the correct plane. Okay, maybe reposition it again. Now return to the three lines in the upper left, select and import from Trimble Connect the tunnel slide. Here's my tunnel slide, select and insert as component. Look at it from front view. It's positioned very nicely, so I'm just going to uh, snap it into position here and look at it from top view. Bring it over. Use the move tool. You can also reposition things if you see they're a little bit off. Strive for detail. See if you can get things to line up nicely. Once again, zoom out, orbit, and verify the positions are nice. See what I mean? This In this case, my slide went to the wrong plane. It's a good example of what can happen if you're not careful. You want to, in my 
climbing wall apparently went off line too. But you can reposition them if you see that they've moved off. All right, so the final piece is to import your spiral tube tunnel slide, spiral tube slide, import. And that should be adhered to the Try platform. I'm just using various s views to verify its position. It looks good. So at this point, use crayon poles. For safety, that means you're going to use those three lines to import a crayon pole. Insert its component. And you can snap it right to the surface of your platform assembly. And if you look at it from top view, you can position the poles more close to the edge. Maybe use the bounding box to line up the pole right to the edge. Now, the technique I use to copy this pole is control C on the keypad and then control V to paste and then place a second one and then use on the keypad control V again and it places one and you slide over your pole and click to position. Control V to place, use your mouse, slide it over. Click to position. Control V. List. Now, in the event you see and you're not happy with the spacing, you can space and select individual crown poles. This is this, this one. And then use the move tool to, to position it. Space them evenly. Maybe this one. Position them nice and even. This one. Here's a new trick. You can select a number of them. Go Control C, Control V. And then if you want to rotate, use the rotate tool to rotate them. And then use the Move tool to position them. In this case, I want to reposition just this one. Position this one for spacing. OK, now you'll need several more on the Tri platform. So go control V, this, look at it from left view. You're gonna raise them up. Position them on your tri-platform. And in this case, I'm just gonna use the rotate tool to rotate them to the proper angle. And then use the move tool to position them. Control C, Control V. Looks like 10 poles fit nicely. Use the select tool to deselect. Use the orbit tool to give yourself a good view of what you've done. And you're almost there. The final step would be to put a perspective projection. Turn off axes. Turn on shadows. 
You can slide the shadows to make it an aesthetically pleasing view. You can orbit to your preferred angle. Center your image. At this point, I suggest saving as playground. So you use the three lines to save as and make sure you're putting it in your playground folder. And I'm going to name it Playground Assembly. And I save here. And then use the three lines to export as PNG. Oh, don't forget to select Export as PNG. Playground Assembly, that means it should be in my downloads folder. Playground assembly indeed is in my playgrounds folder and that's the image that you're gonna to wanna to turn in for assignment credit. Good luck.